Hi guys, it's Candace. Thought I'd take you um, through one of my projects on my sewing journal. I am working on this pocket that has a um, two little journal cards that I've made and then a tuck pocket, a side tuck pocket, and then I'm going to make a large journal tag that goes inside of here. So this right here is from, oh gosh, um, My Porch Prints, um, Sewing Patent Journal Pages. So I tore out this one and this lady, and then the back is, you know, Gail Augustinelli's from Cinnamon Tea on Etsy. It's the Feed Sack Kit number one, and I use both, so one and two. I had to get both of them. I'm addicted. Sorry about that. Um, and then this right here is a button from Artie Mays um, framed words that I used on here. Some fabric that I um, put on there with staples that I got from Hobby Lobby, I believe, a fat quarter. And then this is um, a pattern that I had from I don't even know when. Um, I know that it did come in with this envelope and it was postmarked from New York back when the bulk was two cents, two and seven eight cents, not even quite three cents to mail a pattern. So that was a long time ago. So we're going to make the journal tag for this pocket here. Let me put that aside so we can get going. Now I went ahead, these are the um, items that the shops that I used. Um, again, Gail Augustinelli, Cinnamon Tea, she's on Etsy. I did Feed Stack Kit 1 and 2. My Porch Prints, which is on Etsy, Sewing Patent Journal Pages. Artie Mays, she's on Etsy, um, Framed Words 1. And then the Gail's Gals by Crafty Cat, which I used this lady. I'm going to use her on my little project. Um, Happiness and Crafting by G. Kerr. She does Friday freebies, so this was Friday freebie 11 that I'm using the little piece of scrap here that I'm using on the bottom of my lady. And then Shabby Ephemera, which is by Pape Scrap, I think that's how you pronounce it, on Etsy, and that's what my background paper is. So this is my background paper. I went ahead and cut it. It measures four by seven and a half. That's the size I need. So this is the pap scrap um, on Etsy. And then the back is um, a piece of my coffee dye that I put on um, cream cardstock, which is 65 pound, I believe. And so we're going to go ahead and distress around the front, the edges of it. It just helps me see what I'm doing better. I know, Gail says it all the time. It's true, you got to, got to ink so you can think, so you can see what you're doing to make sure that what you're doing is, is right. All right, now I have a piece of a torn off sewing instructions from my, a pattern that I have. And so I'm gonna ink that and we're gonna put that down the side. Um, so let's go ahead and ink that up just so we can tell that it's on there since it's the same color. It blends in. So I use a little bit of my glue stick and then I use art glitter glue because I do not have good luck with the glue stick. Um, sometimes, I know over a year, some of them stick, some of them don't. So I just use other glue. So we're going to kind of put that about right there, rub it down, and then I have some coffee dyed doily that I'm going to use a piece to go behind my lady's head. So let's do a little ink on here just so it kind of stands out too. Now this does take forever to, to glue, but you just, you got to glue it so it stays. So just take your time, go along the main roads, go around the big boulder, and then hit the side streets, and just try to get glue on, on everything that you have. 
because you don't want it to tear or pull up so it doesn't have to be pretty just try to gotta get glue on there all right then we're gonna stick it on top use a little paper towel to pat it down all right so then I tore a piece of brown painters paper and I'm gonna put that underneath there just to kind of help my lady and my post postmark um, stand out a little more because you know the more layers the better well, at least that's how I seem to do I try to do something simple and it never turns out simple it's always got something on it you know you try to do it with oh let's just do it with three or four pieces or five next thing you know you got 10 15 20 things glued on there but sometimes that's what it takes to help bring it to life and so we're gonna glue this about right here kind of rub it down do a little swabbing on there now I want to this is gonna go on the bottom so I want to tear a piece out throw that in the trash get some of this white off from another one I had used and I'd like to get my top kind of straight for her feet because she's gonna be standing on it and I don't want her to be out into la la land space but if any of you guys use a GPS sometimes it takes you into own unknown places and you drive by a perfectly good paved road that's been there oh 10 years and then your little thing on your Tom Tom says oh unknown road and your cars flying in the air and you know that road's been there for forever so we're gonna put it down here and then I have this postmark that I have off of an old pattern that I have and like I said I, I tried to look Google in to see when bulk bulk rate was two and seven eighths of a cent but I couldn't find it so I have no idea how old this is but we're going to glue this on the back behind so she can be in front of it Oh, I hope y'all having a good day. Oh, I wasn't sure if I should start with a, a project that I was doing or if I should start with some book page pockets. But I thought, oh, let's just do this. I have to get her done anyway. So, and now I need to cut out her little arm. Um, I know sometimes you're supposed to use that scan and cut thing, but... I call mine something else. It has its days. Sometimes it works. Most of the time it doesn't. It can't recognize fine lines. So I call it something else besides cut. There's a C and a U in it. It's not that bad of a word. I just realized it could have been something else. Oop, I'm bad. That's horrible. I'm sorry. All right. So now we're going to just distress her a little bit so we don't see the white from my fussy cutting. Oops. I think I gave her a black eye. Oh gosh, let's give her some more over there. Oh, sorry about that lady. Didn't mean to. And I didn't cut that out, but I'll just kind of ink that up so it kind of blends in. And let's see if I can keep her legs intact on this one. I tore her legs off of another one. Oh, darn it. See, she got a little, got some dirt on her knees. She must've been gardening with her flower dress on. I know that's horrible. One I had, it looked like her little knee highs fell down. My grandma always wore knee highs. So, because back then, you know, dresses were a little bit longer than nowadays, so she'd always wear her knee highs. Silly Nana. Uh, all right, let's try to glue her little legs and her back so we can put her down. Around her head, around her arm. Okay, and then we're gonna kind of put her so you can see the postage and kind of out there. 
she might be too low, but uh. and then I just kind of flip it on the back, smush it back a little more. So that's my my basic card. And then I have these little words I printed out. It says a stitch a day keeps the doctor away. So that's what we're gonna put on top for this little card. And hold it. Sometimes you feel like you're using dinosaur fingers or something. So we're going to kind of put it up top. Got to make sure we have enough room to sew around it because I'm going to stitch around here and then we need to ink keeps the doctor away. Help blend it in so it's not so stark white. Give it a little distress, a little shabby. And then we're going to put some glue on it, stick it down here, so it keeps the doctor away. And then we'll kind of squish them down again. Now, make sure I'm on the here. So I'm going to put some more painter's tape paper on the back just to kind of help break up the coffee dye on the cardstock, so I just kind of crinkled it, ran across with some ink, and now we're going to glue it on there, just to kind of give it, break it up, give it a little more texture. My husband's out there trying to do something on my truck. Oh, that man, he tries. I think it's winning. I think the truck's winning this time. And it rained. Poured down rain. Thundering. You know, we only had 42%, but, you know, so much for that. All right. So that just gives a little more. A little more oomph on the back. Let me wipe that glue off so I can cut around it. Don't need all that excess. And yes, I'm left-handed, so I tend to do lots of things backwards. Uh, the angles of scissors, I tend to be able to cut better upside down than right side up, just because of how they make scissors. I haven't found a good pair of left-handed scissors. I can't tell you how many pairs of scissors I have in my bin over here that I have tried and tried and tried. And it's just been an ordeal. Okay, so that's that. Now I'm going to put it underneath my blocks to um, dry. And I have, I have one that's been drying. So let me... Go ahead. Oops. I put my glues back on. This one doesn't have a stitch a day, so let me go ahead and cut one of those real quick so I can put that on here before I forget, mess it up. So, hope my arm's not in your way. But. My little cutters on the right hand side, everything I do, oops, I'm cutting the wrong one, I need to keep a doctor away, some of us might need a doctor, oh lord, okay, now, now I got the right words, let's go ahead and put these on here so this one will be done so I can do the Nouveau drops and my sparkle lacquer drops so I can put it aside so it can dry. And then we'll go and sew around it, and then I'll show you the finished tag. Well, I guess it would be technically a journal card because it's sliding in and out. All right. Off with the glue head again. Thought I was prepared, but I wasn't. 
I didn't take everything off and tear it because I didn't want to waste your time seeing me do my process so I just got everything ready beforehand so that way I can kind of show you so it would be a, a shorter video instead of a long one make sure that I'm doing okay and then put this down here keep the doctor away all right so there's my tag now let's get our Nuvo drops and my glitter these are oops um, I had it right the first time dark walnut so I'm going to put dark walnut around just to help tie into some of the other journal cards and in pockets and stuff that's in my sewing journal so they'll go together and then we're gonna tap it down a little bit to help them spread so they won't be so raised and then I'm taking this it's a glitter lacquer pen I got it from a hero arts kit and I'm just going to put some sparkles around here just to give it a little extra dimension. So when it dries, it'll have a little sparkle. Any of you guys know I have a problem with sparkle and sequins, which I have not put a sequin on here. So let me go put this over here to dry. And then I'm going to show you the final one. So this is what it looks like. I stitched around it with the black thread and there's my Nuvo drops that are dry and the little glitter lacquer pen. And this will go inside this behind these tags and in here and it will look like that. So that will be, I hope I'm in frame, that will be my final pocket for this one and just in case anybody wanted to see a little more um, this is one that I did and I have these on my Etsy shop at Journal Me Crazy and this is a double over the page pocket side pocket tuck I don't know the terminology for everything I know I'm bad one day I'll learn it all this one has some buttons sewn on there, an embroidery thread, a little fabric snippet, and then in here it has a large journal card, and then I stamped on the back, and then this one has a little needle card, and then a little sewing machine, and that's the back of here, so that one goes into that one, that side, and then this side I raised the thimble on some foam and the little sewing hand she's got um, her little thimbles got glossy accents and then some pink fingernail polish and then some buttons I punched out and put on there and then again I um, embroidery with some black embroidery thread and wrapped it around the spindle and to give it some dimension and then it has um, jelly pen with the green glitter jelly on there and then I punched out the word notions and put it on this distressed dyed journal card that I did with uh, all kinds of Tim Holtz distress ink to come up with that. I love doing those. And then this card, it has um, quilting templates and so I remember I had die cuts. So I die cut this one and then put the paper on there with the little um, sewing machine and bodice stuff and then this little hexagon one here so you can have some little mini some little small journal cards that go in there and then the back has this little girl on there who's needle pointing and I just thought that'd be a cute little tag and I stenciled on the back and then stamped another thimble and bobbin with some thread use silver jelly pen to kind of make it look like a silver on the metal and then put a little corner tuck in here so that way that is in there and then both of them have the vellum on there and then that tucks in there with um, some lace that's on here. And that's that one. 
This one's on um, the Etsy shop. And let me see, which other one do I have? Oh, this one is up on the Etsy shop. And it's a three-piece set. And this little tag is part of the pattern that I have. And I raised a button. There's three buttons. I raised one up on foam. And then I stamped the scissors on here and traced traced it with the silver jelly pen. Did a little embroidery stitch with some fabric and lace. And then I put uh, Nouveau drops on all the heads of the pins so it kind of looks like the pins raised. And then it's just on cream color card cardstock with some antique fabric that I had got, vintage fabric, I guess, at a farm sale up in Kentucky when I brought our dog to get surgery for her broken leg. Some of y'all have seen that on my Instagram with little Miss Fergie. Oh my gosh, that crazy dog. And then this is just a little snippet, a paper snippet with some more um, farmhouse, the uh, oh, Gail Augustinelli's feed sack. I'm bad. And then I punched out the word sew and then I just sew, you know, sewed it around so that way you can glue it on here or you can even glue it on another page. And then this is just part of the um, instructions from the pattern that I had. And then I just put sew your stress away, kind of traced around it, put some more of the brown um, Nouveau drops, a little, I stamped on here with the brown paper and, and glued that on. And then this is just um, part of a measuring ruler that was on one of the digitals that I had. And then um, just made, sewed it onto a piece of book page and made a pocket out of that. Like I said, that one's on the site. Um, this little one is on the Etsy shop. Um, it's just a small little piece of scrap I had left over, and I and I thought, well, I need to make something that will go on here. So I thought, oh, well, what about a, a small little side tuck pocket? So I did that with some more feed sack, and this is another piece of digital paper. Put another button, and then went in there with the sparkle green jelly pen. Put that on there, and I backed it on some black cardstock. And then this is um, a digital um, with some more brown Nouveau dop drops. Stamped the scissors on there, put some green and cream yarn, and then some more um, lacquer. I don't know if you can see that, the little lacquer jelly, and then a, a little number sticker label on there. Um, let's see. This one we will be doing. I have to do a video on that. That one will be pretty long, so it might be a couple of steps. And then this one here we still have to do. I'm going to do a video on it also. But I thought there was another one in here. Those are some. Oh, here's one that I got to that I'm working on. It's just a, a belly band that I put with the digital. And then I used this old receipt that from a department store here in Nashville. Well, I'm an hour away from Nashville. Um, and it was an old department store called Harvey's. And it, on here it says that they bought a pair of gloves. And then I used um, Tim Holtz wildflower stamps. And I stamped some wildflowers and then just some other little stamps from some sewing stamps that I had. And then I collaged the back with some... Um, different papers and stamped a little more of the wildflowers and then sewed a, a, a ruffle on there with some more of that vintage fabric and then that goes in there. It really does fit in there, I swear. I don't know why it's sticking. Just things want to fight with you when you're trying to do something. Then these are some projects that we have to do. Some more projects. And that's the project we're going to do. So the sneak previews, sneak previews, sneak previews. And then this one is on the site. Um, it's a, a belly band with a journal card. And um, I cut out, this was from my porch prints. And so I just tore around there. This is some more of the other paper that we just used from um, Happiness and Crafting. And then... Um, this is another um, Happiness and Crafting G-Cur that I cut out and used for a belly band. And then I cut an extra bodice out and then stuck it on foam tape, traced it with some jelly pens, put some clear accents on there, another little fabric lace snippet, a button that I embroidered on, and then some more of the um, another 
antique fabric that I got from the same little cell that I went to and then sewed around it and another little piece of the pattern that goes on there and so that's all that I have I believe the other stuff is going to be projects oh here's one I haven't glued it into the back yet but it is a butterfly bodice that I took a, a bodice from I believe this is from happiness and crafting also and um, put it on top of the butterflies and then I made this pocket from a digital and sewed around it put a little um, fabric and lace snippet glued some buttons on there raised springtime up I believe that's from Artie Mays <clears throat> excuse me um, then this is um, some music digital some paper from a paper pad I had I believe this is Artie Mays also some fabric up top a larger bodice with a washi sticker on the back then some pink Nouveau drops and then it's on cream um, cardstock and then I stamped it with some scroll stamp and then little mini butterflies and that's a, a journal card that goes in here and then this is another journal card that I use from a digital that I have and I'm beaming which is another Artie Mays and I'm not sure who this one is I got to find out and then I put it on um, some other paper. I think this is DCW, one of the 12 by 12s that I backed it onto that. And so this is going to be in the back of the journal. I have to adhere it to it. But that's some sneak peeks from the sewing journal that I'm working on. Um, the front's got lots of sparkles, buttons, laces, embroidery. I um, hand stitched. I don't know if you can see, hand stitch these beads onto this double lace that I had. And then I embroidered the green X's on the back to kind of blend in with the other green. And then this is the lace that's on the back with it and the burlap and some other lace and fabrics. And um, it's going to be a fatty when I'm done, but I can't make skinny journals apparently. So, oops, got some some strings. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you'll come back and um, have a blessed day. Thank y'all. Bye-bye.